This is a going to be a real quick video on how to set your paper up for MLA format uh, for your essay. So the first thing you want to do is because I did make a blank copy. I didn't go over this in class, but you want to give your uh, paper a title up here. You can give it the same title as the one in your book. So you might want to put, um, you know, it could just be mini essay. All right. So um, I put this link here and it does have an example page right here. And you can see that um, this formatting your first page of your paper is the most important part. So it says, you know, do not make a title page. In the upper hand left corner of the first page, list your name, your instructor's name, the course, and the date. So before we type anything, you want to make sure that you are in Times New Roman font. It's um, it's just the, I don't know, the, it, some, someone picked Times New Roman font once upon a time for this formatting. So we're looking for Times New Roman font. It needs to be 12 points. And it also needs to be double spaced. The way you do double spacing is that you go to this uh, button here, the line spacing. You click on that and you can see how normally it's, I think, 1.15. And you're going to select double. And then it will um, basically have a skips a line worth every time. Okay, so you need your name. So you do like your first, last name. Then you would have your teacher's name, so Mr. Doyle. Then you have the course name, so we're just going to do English 6. That's a pretty standard convention, so when you're, you know, like in 11th grade, it'd be like English 11, English 12, whatever. So we're just going to say English 6, and then today's date, 10, what's it, the 7th, 7, 20. Okay, and then... Uh, return one more time, so you should only be skipping one line, and then you're going to go to center a line. Want something to be centered, and then you're going to put your title. Title of your essay in title case. You could look up title case if you don't know what it is. Um, but this doesn't. You're not going to put title here. You don't want to put title or you don't want to put mini essay. This should be, you should be giving your essay some type of title. Okay. So, um, you know, you're talking about an element or a theme. So your title might be um, the theme of blah, blah, blah in Prometheus, something like that. Leave that there. Then you're going to do one more line down. So it should just be one return. Go back to left a line. Okay, and then you would begin your typing. So the way that you should be typing is, I'm actually going to generate here. I'm going to copy some random text. Um, so you you'll notice that this is lined up. You need to tab over and then you could paste some text. Yours is going to be one opening sentence, right? And then you would return. Notice when you start a new paragraph, it doesn't indent it automatically. So you have to hit tab again and then you, oops, and then you could paste it in. So you, it should look a little bit more like that. So just make sure you're tabbing when you, do new paragraphs. And the last thing is you want your uh, last name and your the page number in the heading. So if you go up to the top, double clip at the very top of the page, um, like very close to the edge, it'll by default have it on the left. You want to go over here to change it on the right. So it starts on the right and then you would type in your last name, last name, a space, then you're going to go to options, page numbers, and we want a page number in the header that starts on the first page and we are starting at one, apply. And so it should say last one and the one will be like highlighted gray because it's being put there automatically. 
and you can click out and it will be like that. So you can also just type a one in after this. The nice thing about doing it through that options thing is if you had a whole bunch of text, right, then you could see how as you continue to go, it would number it automatically for you, which is kind of cool. So that is how you can set your page up for MLA format.